What's going on guys, I'm Morris here bringing guys a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. <sighs> you can probably expect I don't enjoy making an episode like this. Um, when I decided to make this show, obviously I knew there were going to be hard episodes. This year has been no exception. Name change, new coach, Adrian Peterson. And just a lot of heavy, heavy um, COVID, no fans, just a lot of heavy topics. And this one's going to be a heavy one because um, it was a bad game yesterday. I'm glad we scored points to make it look better than what it really was. It was awful. Um, I will say this, and probably a lot of fans, probably a lot of, not Washington fans, because they'll probably agree with me, but fans around the NFL probably disagree with this hot take. But um, the Cardinals did not outplay us yesterday. The Cardinals didn't play better than us. Well, they played better than us, yes. They didn't outplay us. They're not a better team. We shot ourselves in the foot too much. We have been fortunate that our O-line hasn't had many penalties, but in the crunch time, when we needed something to get going, Morgan Moses had that holding, and it was a big hold. When that guy starts wrapping around, even if you know your guys can get tackled, let go. Because you're only doing making it worse for your team if you hold on. Incomplete passes. Delaney has got to get his footwork. He's got to set his feet. He's got to hit those receivers on the mark. But that it's not solely on him. The receivers got to run routes. Inman is like losing around halfway through and having to regain it. And Dwayne is like, no, that's the target. So he's throwing to him. Sims and McLaurin were getting hot. You know, we got those routes from McLaurin. We got to hit McLaurin on. If we're throwing him every single pass, that's the only way we get a touchdown. That's how we need to throw it. Running the ball. Antonio Gibson. I know Jay McKissick gets started, but I don't think it's going to last forever. He had a couple good runs. Peyton Barber had a couple good runs. But Antonio Gibson is definitely the main guy they're looking at. And is going to be the main guy going forward, obviously. Defense, you know, they didn't play bad yesterday. You no, know, the pr I said in the video, and I, even Charlie Cash, and many, many others said it, the only way to beat the Cardinals was to contain Kyler Murray. We couldn't do that. You see Chase Young and Montez Sweat chasing him down every play, and they were the ones getting him. Kerrigan didn't get as much playing time because he's not as fast. Montez and Chase are incredibly fast. So they're the ones that are important in this type of game to catch up. And we're going to see the same story. In two weeks, when we play Baltimore and face Lamar Jackson, it's not going to get any easier. And we play Mobile One next week in Baker's. Not quite as mobile, but he is still mobile. We didn't contain too many mis miscommunications. Too many. DeAndre Hopkins is freaking open in the middle of the end zone because Landon Collins just was like froze. Troy Apke is watching them run past him before he goes. Troy Apke needs to attack on the ball, attack on the receiver, follow the receiver. Don't wait for the receiver to go and then chase him down because even Troy Apke's fast. He's incredibly fast. He is. But once that receiver beats you, you're done. No matter how fast you are, when he beats you, you will have been beat. I don't know what else you want me to say about the defense, miscommunications. Chase Young played outstanding yesterday. I mean, that's the one highlight. Chase Young played great. Um, Logan Thomas has got to come down with the ball when it's there, even if it's over him. If he can get his hands on, he's got to come down with it. No turnovers for Dwayne. I mean, interception last fumble. But you can't throw that fumble. He was crunched. There was nowhere for him to go. He didn't see it was blind side because Jerron Christian. O line has got to do better. We got to do something to the left O line. It is looking piss poor over there. The right side looked good. Even when Sheriff went out and Wes Schweister came in and took his spot, they looked pretty good. But Jerron and Wes Martin, I'm, they're getting beat. They are getting absolutely monstered over there. Our Chandler, Chandler Jones is amazing, but he's... But you, there's no excuse. You're paid to block these guys. When we face the Rams, they're going to have to go against Aaron Donald. How it is. We get a record we have to make we have to face Nick Bosa with it. I mean there's plenty more we'll have to face and I don't know, you know the receivers get okay. I'm gonna make a video about the whole offense for Wednesday. But 
This is gonna be a hot take. You've heard me say it before, and I'm gonna say it again on Wednesday. But receivers need. We need more receivers. We need a veteran. We need a skill guy. There are some that may be basket cases. That might be a long shot. But are we at the point where our defense is so good that our offense needs that push, that immediate open? Because they're going to know McLaurin's a guy, Sims a guy. Emmett can't come down with it. Emmett is just playing hopscotch on routes. McLaurin's getting gassed because he's the only one getting it every time. And the same story I said a few weeks ago, same story I said, the offense has to produce a decently long drive, three points, six points, seven points, eight points, I don't care. Or just hold on from punts. But the defense cannot run forever. They were obviously gassed yesterday. They were gassed. And why, why wouldn't they? They were on the field the whole game. Cardinals controlled that clock. You got to play better. You got to play heads up. You got to... Make the right communications on offense and defense. If something goes wrong, fix it. Jack Del Rio was making changes at halftime, and they were working to an extent. At some point, no matter what change you make, it's not going to make a difference. Kevin Pierre Lewis went out of his way and played in ball the second half yesterday. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If the offense can't produce equally, it doesn't matter. I got um I was very fed up fed up with yesterday's game. Not because I'm mad we lost. Look, I'm I'm used to us losing. I've been a fan since 2012. I've experienced a three and thirteen season, four and twelve, ten and six, and three, three and thirteen, four and twelve, ten and six, seven and nine, nine and seven, eight, seven and one, eight and eight, seven and nine, and another three and thirteen. I'm used to it. But I'm usually used to it when a team outplays us. They're a better team. We go in there, we're just the worst team. We, I was so disappointed and mad after yesterday's game. I was shut down kind of for the rest of the day because I was just so fed up and annoyed with these shooting ourselves in the foot. But I, I know we're a young team. We're going to have mistakes. We're going to have development. It's question marks everywhere on our team. But at some point, and Rivera even mentioned this, we're shooting ourselves in the foot. We didn't lose. They, they didn't beat us that game. We beat ourselves that game. We beat ourselves. Shoot ourselves in the foot. Missed opportunities. Dwayne has got to scan the field a little bit more. Read it. If you got the whole ball for a little bit, he's going to get out the pocket. Get out. Throw it. Scan. Don't have that one receiver. It's like, oh, I know that's who I'm throwing to this game. Scan. Do your check downs. Do all your reads. Don't just be like, all right, it's going to him. Throw it. Like that's going to get you in trouble. It's worked sometimes these past couple games, and it doesn't work most of the time. you got to do all your reads. That's why there's five receivers, four, three to five receivers running every play instead of one because all of them need to be seen on that play. I'll, make, I'll talk more about the offense on Wednesday and just as a whole, but it was a very disappointing game. We got Cleveland this week. Um, I'll give my preview about that on Friday. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a grinder. Yeah, so thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit the bell button so you're notified every single time I load a brand new episode of Washington Station. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe if I already said that. Uh, make sure to keep watching Washington Station, the best station for Washington Nation. I'm Morris, and I'm out. Peace.